My favorite organic food, um, probably cheese. I'm from Wisconsin, so dairy state, I gotta love the cheese. Uh, my name is Edmund Throckmorton and I'm with QAI. Um, I'm a technical reviewer. Today I'm going to be talking to you about sanitizers. Essentially, when you're picking out a sanitizer, it has to be on the national list of prohibited and allowed substances, which under the regulation is 205-605. Some of those include parasitic acid, citric acid, and hydrogen peroxide, which can be used. However, there are annotations under the national list for certain materials. For example, chlorine has an annotation that if it's being used in post-harvest handling or in a flume and it comes into direct contact with produce, it can be used up to the levels approved by the FDA or the EPA. The exception would be the final rinse has to meet the Safe Water Drinking Act, which is four parts per million. If you're using material that's not on the national list, essentially you'll have to perform some sort of intervening event. Um, typically that'll be like a rinse or a purge, and then the regulation requires that you perform a residue test to ensure that the residue has been completely removed from the equipment prior to handling organic product. We receive a lot of questions about isopropyl alcohol being used as a sanitizer and essentially it can be used without having to perform a residue test kit but basically you have to allow that sanitizer to completely dry from the food contact surfaces prior to handling. With regards to like denatured alcohol, additional information may be required so I would go ahead and contact QAI for that information. Assessing sanitizers can be complicated. Be sure to contact QAI before you use a new sanitizer or if you have any questions about its allowance.